We have a football match with Rangers beating Rovers 5-4. The only time Rangers were ahead were after they scored their final goals. So they were never ahead otherwise. How many possible halftime scores were there? Well, I think the safest thing to do is actually um, list them or at least just like think about the possibilities. I'm going to go with listing them. So let's say that Ranger um, Rovers have scored their four goals in the first half. That's quite a nice thing to think about, first of all. Um, then it could be 0 4, be 1 4, 2 4, 3 4, 4 4. Or in fact, in the first half, and I think this one's quite easy to miss, they could, in fact, it could actually be 5 4. Okay, that's the only one for which um, Rangers would be winning, but it needs to be included. Now, we could have done that more quickly by just writing down, hey, I'm going to consider 4, and then there's going to be 5 options for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and in this case, 5 as well. So you could just kind of keep a little tally um, of, of 6 from that. Right, now let's say they've actually scored 3 goals. Okay, this time, actually, we can go straight to it. It's either going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. So that's what I mean by we can do it a bit quicker. Um, but I'm going to write them out. So 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3. That's it this time. They can't be 4, 3 ahead. Okay, now for 2, there's going to be 3 possibilities. 0, 1, or 2. And then for 1, it's going to be 0, 1, or 1, all. And then finally, it is possible that at halftime it was nil-nil. So how many possible halftime scores were there? I just need to add these up. It's going to be 10 plus 6, uh, six so 16.